Yeah, what's up guys, it's Dingle here, and uh, in today's video I'm just going to be showing you how to edit, like, uh, well, uh, me pretty much. Uh, what I'm going to show you is on screen right now, and I uh, just thought I'd let you guys know that this is actually the, uh, the second time that I've had to record this video, because, uh, you know, my mic was off, and if I seem fucking pissed off, that, that'd be why. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to want to start off by just dragging in our fucking clip here. Lovely. And we're going to want to find roughly where we split it. Fuck it there, you know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the timestamp is on screen now for when you want to start showing the effects. Like, I, I won't cut it, but it's on screen right now. And uh, we're just going to want a keyframe. Or we, we're going to want to make a marker on where the kill is. So he turns blue right there. Make a marker right there. Go one, two, three frames back. Split it. And add some flicker. Flicker right there. And... You can just go ahead and copy these settings right here. Uh, just go ahead and copy those before we get started on this. So you're going to go to the very last frame, make a keyframe one, and go roughly 20 frames back. So that would be 219 for me. Right there. And set that one to zero. And set the first one to zero as well. And set this... Actually, no. Don't set that one to zero. Uh, set this one to 1-1. One, one, and set the last one to 0, 0.45 right here. And uh, the first one right here should be zero, and we can just go ahead and drag that one over here. So now you just have sort of that, just the fucking the flicker thing. And we're just gonna want to go there, right here, and we're gonna want to add some shake as well, some just some uh, fucking Y shake. You can go ahead and copy these settings: X, zero, uh, Y, these, uh, Z, nothing, and tilt, nothing. So, uh, just keyframe amplitude, uh, make a keyframe right here, uh, set that one to zero, set the first one to zero, and set the last one to zero comma five, and just drag that to the very last frame, and then we get some pre-shake right there, fucking amazing. Alright, now we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and add the, uh, the Dignal God Shake right here, woo, okay, just copy these, um, yeah. Some of these effects have been given to me by people of my Discord server, so if you recognize any effects that may have been leaked or something, just let me know and I'll delete the video right away. Uh, so yeah. Uh, right here, you're just going to want to set this to, uh, you just want to keyframe it right there. And you one, two, three frames in, uh, making it on the keyframe, set the first one to zero. And one, two, or just go like 30 frames in, probably, or 20, 25, and set it to zero. And you're also going to want to keyframe Z distance. You have to make sure it's at 1 there. And 3 frames in, you set it to 1.12. And go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in. And set the Z distance to 1 again. And uh, after that, you're just going to want to go ahead and add some... Uh, I don't know, maybe some, some glint. That sound good? Uh, just some glint. That's glint right there. Glint. And the keyframe brightness, you can go ahead and copy these settings. If they're leaked, let me know. I don't fucking know. And uh, just add a keyframe right there. Make the first one zero and make this one zero as well. Actually, you can make it, you can add a keyframe that says zero at about 20 frames in. So just go ahead and drag that one there. And uh, we should be good there. And now you're going to go ahead and add some film glow. This is only if you want, um, you know, some color or whatever. It doesn't really matter. And right here, you're just going to want to keyframe the goal intensity you're gonna want to go in here on the third keyframe set it to 15 on the first one set it to zero and just underneath the glint you're gonna set it to zero as well and what you're gonna want to do here is just change the glow color to whatever color you want it to be I'm gonna make it like purple or something doesn't really matter just like that it literally doesn't matter you can drag it out a bit more also if you want you can set up the glow intensity maybe that might be a bit much but ah, that's fine and uh, now we're going to go ahead and do the slow-mo. So I'm using Twixter for this. You can use Velocity. It'll be the same thing. It'll just be a bit harder for you to um, to follow. So just drag the default one on there. Uh, keyframe speed percentage. Uh, set it to, uh, I'd say, roughly uh, 50 on the first one. Go one, two, three frames in uh, right here. And you're going to want to set it to 300. And go one, two, three, uh, four, five and set it to 30 and once you're here you can just make it a hundred pretty much wherever you want doesn't matter really just experiment with it like it doesn't matter 
And uh, now I think our effects are all done. Right there. Uh, I'm sorry if that was a bit loud. I'll just go and lower that. Now we're going to move on to the other track parts. So I'm going to show my color correction right here. Uh, I'm this isn't my actual color correction except this one. This one I have been using for a while and it's already been shown in multiple videos. Uh, but for the Viginet settings, I have some packs coming up, some, some other shit. So you won't be able to see my exact settings for that. But I'll just add Viginet and make it default. And uh, I'm going to add Hue Sap right to this as well. Drag that on there and just experiment around with it. Like maybe zero comma like here it doesn't matter these aren't my real settings anyway so just do whatever you like honestly and you're also going to want to go ahead and add rsmb just drag default on there make the 0 comma 3 and make the 0 comma 4 5 this is obviously the taste you know the, i just like having very low rsmb uh because high rsmb looks fucking ass um so yeah that's my that's my take on it anyway and you can set gpu to on right there and uh, right now you're gonna wanna go ahead and use any swoosh you have. I'm just gonna use uh, my one for this. You can just use yours and just just time it up here. Uh, yeah, and y then you're pretty much good to go. Let's go ahead and pre-render this really quickly. Uh, never mind. I No, wait, we're fine. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and wait for this to pre-render. We can actually see how it looks because I might wanna make some last minute adjustments, but I think we should be fine here. All right, let's give this a watch. That looks pretty good, honestly, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I won't be covering anything else in this intro. I'm just going to show you how to make fucking that because, you know, why not? Uh, I might do a, a video on my intro later. Um, the one that's on the, the one that's inserted in, in the front of this video. Uh, and I might make one on my outro skin if you guys are interested in that. It doesn't really matter. But, uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this rather hastily, um, made video, uh, <laughs> do make sure to like the video and, uh, subscribe, preferably with noties on, but I don't really give a fuck. And, uh, if you do have any suggestions for me or, you know, any criticism or, you know, uh, thanks or whatever the fuck, just comment that as well, honestly. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys in a couple days and peace.